we used to think of robots as something that would uh, do useful things for us, like uh, put the washing on the line. But yeah, perhaps robots are things that we'll actually fall in love with. I think that in the future, you know, we will probably all have robot pets. They don't need to feed them or give them water. They don't need to be taken to expensive vets, so we might need some technical support. And when we go on holidays, all we need to do is turn them off, and when we get back from holidays, turn them back on, so we can get to know them again. So Pleo, this uh, robot dinosaur, has been a massive success in Japan and America. It's, uh, you know, people are flocking to buy it and have this lovely robot pet in their households. And this will soon be released in Australia as well. And it's interesting, we, we can actually form emotional ties with robots. You know, particularly cute little ones like, uh, like this one. Oh, what a little sweet little dinosaur you are, aren't you? And uh, it's, you know, research recently in America showed that uh, elderly people in nursing homes responded just as well to a robot dog as to a real dog. And I think the children are, you know, really love this, form emotional ties with them. And in the next generation of robot pets, they will start to teach children. You know, they will be things which are really useful and part of the household, as well as something really lovely that we can grow and become part of our lives and part of our families. You know, sweet little robot. <laughs>